Alright, hey guys, how's it going? Caesar here, and today I'm going to be going over some tips and tricks on the best places to start out on all of the maps. I'm going to start on Valgaro because it's the newest map. So, we're going to just start with this area here. This is probably the best zone for you to start in. It's called the White Cliffs Biome, I believe. Well, technically I'm in the Sky Guard, but I'm overlooking the White Cliffs Biome. Let me go down here and let me, let me show you guys what I'm talking about. Now the reason this is the best place for people to start out is it has pretty much every resource that you're going to need to get started as far as, you know, a normal arc PvP kind of situation goes. So it has, you know, parasaurs and horses for early game fairy tames. You can also go for a kangaroo if you have the mushrooms for it. It's very similar to um, Highlands because it has, you know, Allosaurus's and horses and it also has Ovis so it's it's going to feel like you're running around the highlands on Ragnarok. I'm trying to find the Ovis. I don't really know where a good place for them to spawn is. Normally when I'm on uh, the MTS server I don't really bother looking for Ovis too much because there's the stack mod so once you've killed like one or two you've got enough um, mutton to last you for a long while. But I'm gonna look around here and see if I can find one for you. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there's one right there. Just to show you that they do spawn here. The aloes just seem to be going crazy on them. So yeah, most of the time people are going to spawn down here on the beach, I believe. Not 100% sure, but look. Right here, there's an Ovis straight away. Not 100% sure if this is the, the exact place where you'd spawn on the beach, but I know it's in this general area. There is going to be Pteranodon spawns along the beach. I'm not sure if there's any in the White Cliffs. I've not seen any in the White Cliffs, so keep that in mind. And there's also these right here. At the moment, these are bugged. So these are similar to the um, carcasses that you find on Ragnarok. And they give you organic polymer instead of chitin. But at the moment, they're bugged and um, at least on the MTS server, they're not respawning at all. So, if you get on the server and they're there, make sure that you harvest them straight away. It doesn't really seem to make much of a difference on the organic polymer side. Whether you use a pick or a hatchet, you're not going to get, you know, a lot. It's just a little bit, something to get you going. But once you have, you know, your basic stuff, you're going to want to head up into the White Cliffs. And uh, there's pretty much metal everywhere on this map, guys. It does look a little bit different than it does on um, Ragnarok, but let me show you guys a couple of good spots that you can be farming. So if you head all the way into the White Cliffs, and I would recommend getting a PT for this because this map does have a lot of elevation, you're going to want to go all the way back to that Sky Guard area that I was at. The good thing about these bodies of water, by the way, let me just circle back and show you guys really quickly. Uh, pretty much any remotely deep body of water on this map is going to have pearls in it. So, uh, this one made a liar out of me, but let me find one for you guys and show you what I'm talking about. Oh, and while I'm at it, you guys might recognize these plants here. These plants are the kind that give you silk, so it's good for making whips early game. Alright, yeah, this is the one that I was actually thinking of. So, you can get pearls in this biome as well, which is nice. You can get pearls in just about every biome. You are pretty close to the uh, main river, which is going to be probably the best place to get pearls. And I'll do a video on that here in the future, like a resource guide. But yeah, you want to just keep going up with your PT or whatever team you have, or on foot if you have to, all the way up into the Sky Guard. You can walk all the way up here. It's just going to take you a little bit longer. Along the way, you can check the um, new dino nests for the eggs. To be honest, uh, I've seen a few people with them on MTS, and they don't really seem all that great. They are a little bit buggy, and they can like do some things that they shouldn't be able to do, so I'm not even really touching them at the moment. But in all honesty, they do seem like an early game tame, so if you would rather just raise something than go out and tame something, then it's not a bad option. They don't take long to raise. I think on MTS they take around 5 or 6 hours. That's on 5 times, so it's probably a little over a day and a half on uh, 
on one times and probably around like 10 hours on um, six man so like up here this is like the main chunk of metal this is where a lot of people are fighting over the metal spawns currently as you can see the metal spawns do look a little differently guys than they would on like the island or Ragnarok but these are I'm fairly sure these are considered rich metal nodes because these give you a lot of metal like keep in mind that this is primitive pick I have a hundred melee and I'm on one times I'm still able to get like around 40 metal there's a lot of spawns here like a lot if you just keep following these top cliffs you can find so many metal spawns you won't know what to do with yourself so we're gonna keep doing that and I'm gonna show you guys where a couple other uh, valuable resources are see what I'm talking about guys like Ovis everywhere there are even Jerboas here if you want to just kill one of these things for easy uh, hide and meat easy 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 so more metal nodes more metal nodes just loads and loads of metal nodes and then a lot of obsidian here like this part up here in the sky guard is where i go for my obsidian there's obsidian there and then the ones that i generally hit are over here so i mean you, you have access to metal crystal ovis uh obsidian pearls the only thing that you don't have access to here is um cementing paste and i'll show you guys where to get that here in a moment so look over here we've got loads more crystal and it just keeps going so if you get yourself one of the ankies that's around here it'll be really easy for you to um get a lot of crystal and a lot of obsidian and metal and here's another nice feature of the white cliffs if you guys don't know already it does spawn rock elementals these are rock elementals um unique to this map with their coloration which is really cool uh it, it, it's definitely like refreshing to see them do something a little bit outside the box with the normal dinos because they just spawn at the normal levels they have the same effects same stats as normal rock elementals but they just look different because it's the white cliffs so it's white rock elementals so this is the place where you'd find those the um the colorations on the inside are actually the same um the red and the blue and the green and things that you'd normally see but because it's white it stands out that much more so it just really looks amazing like um Actually, my uh, my friend Hev's tamed up a rock elemental earlier on MTS, and it was similar to that red, but like a lot darker, and it looked really good. Like it's one of the best looking rock elementals I've ever seen. And as you move closer towards the redwoods, you will find higher level stuff. So things like Rexes and Brontos are a little bit more common over here. Let me see if this is actually a different area. Nope, still the Sky Guard. And you will actually also find a handful of pair racers. And um, if you go over here, guys, if you keep heading towards the Redwoods, uh, I believe that would be... Yeah, it'd be um, west. I don't have myself showing up on the map, so sorry. I'm kind of having trouble figuring out where I am. There's a very large body of water here. And this has a lot of pearl spawns in it. So this is another good place to go if the you know first couple pearl spawns aren't working out for you and you started in that area. And it's also a good place to go if you don't want to build in the area that you spawned. But as you see, there's lots of pearls in here. Um, normally, you will run into people at the pearl spawns, so just be prepared for that. Just do what I do. Bring flippers with you and hide your birds somewhere so that if somebody does show up, you can always just, you know, scoot away if need be. All right, guys, so I'm going to head back over um, down towards the water where we originally started. And then I'll show you guys where you go to get paste starting in this location. I'm not sure where the best place to get paste is yet. I will make a video on that once I know for sure. I think it's the spot that I'm about to show you guys, but I'm not going to say for certain until I've actually explored the whole map because I don't want to, you know, be wrong. So just give me a moment and I'll cut to when we're back down at the beach. So once you get back down here to the beach guys, what you're going to want to do is go into the jungle, but not very far. So this is the jungle biome. Um, it's basically the same as most jungle biomes, except it has a little bit of different character traits. So you'll see things like mammoths, which aren't super common. Um, and, you know, 
there's oil spots for like oil pumps and things like that. Oh, there's actually a Quetzal here. I've not seen a single Quetzal on MTS yet, guys. Fun fact. And I don't know that anybody else has either because I've not seen anybody using a Quetzal even. So that's actually kind of cool to know that one of the spawns is in the jungle. But we're going to basically, you see that large body of water up ahead of us, guys? That's where we're going to be heading. Um, and there, there's like a lot of beavers that spawn near there. So that's the spot right there where you'd want to go for pace. We're going to go down there and show you guys like the handful of spots that I know of that are really easy to get the beaver dams. So what I do is I go over here to these first two on the left. And it's not like they're going to be the same ones every time. But I'm going to go ahead and show you really quickly. Go passive. Access the beaver dam. Stop accessing it. And then just hop on your bird. And they're going to aggro you as if you just, you know, used a rare flower. And then just go and hover over this cliff. This is going to throw them off the cliff and give you all the time in the world that you need to go and loot those beaver dams. Again, if at all possible, once you're higher level, make sure that you bring scuba flippers because there are going to be beaver dams in the water and it just makes things a lot easier. <clears throat> so there's one left, but I'm on, you know, creative mode, so I don't really have to worry about them too much. So, I mean, they're the same as normal beaver dams. There are no large beaver dams, unfortunately, but there is a good amount of these and even on the MTS server, they're spawning quick enough that I'm able to get paced uh, every, you know, half hour or so, no problem. So normally when I come through here, there's usually a couple more here. So make sure you don't check or don't skip out. I mean, on this uh, grassy area because there is usually some spawned there. And then up here, there's a few spawned up here. And then I always go and check this big middle bit over here. And this island here in the middle, I don't know. I think there's a few foundations on it. There's never any trees on it, so it looks a little different on the MTS server that I'm on. But there is usually beaver dams in the water and along this island. So let me just go ahead and show you guys what I'm talking about really quickly. See if there's any in here or not. Yeah, see, there's a few. Okay. So if you if you harvest all these beaver dams up, um, the rates are pretty much the same no matter what server you're on. It's beaver dams; they don't change. Uh, so it's usually around like 900 to like 13, 1400, depending on how many uh, beaver dam spawns you find and how good the rolls for the paste is. Just make sure that if you come here to do beaver dams, guys, that you do empty out the wood. There's nothing more annoying than when somebody goes and you know gets the beaver dams and doesn't empty them out like it's to the point where people are even suggesting uh adding in a feature that makes it to where the beaver dams despawn if there's only wood in them so it's it's really simple guys i'll show you what i'm talking about like this isn't something that's going to take you a long time if you're on pc just go up to the beaver dam open it up go over here hit whatever key it is to drop and then transfer all if you do that you're not going to get hit by the beavers, even if they're right on you, and you'll be good to go. It doesn't take but two seconds, and it makes it to where the next time that you come here, you can hit up the beaver dam spawns. And it makes it to where when everybody else comes there, they can as well. Literally, look, these, these guys are right on me. Let me show you how quickly I can do this. This one had a lot of wood in it. I'm going to get tagged like twice, but it's not a big deal. I'm going to hop on my bird and I'm out. So yeah guys, it's going to wrap things up for this video. Just a quick little video on, you know, how to get started on Valgaro. This is, in my opinion, the best place to start is the White Cliffs and, you know, venturing off into the Redwoods or the jungle. If you guys have a different opinion, make sure you let me know down in the comments. Maybe I'll make a video on that area. If you have any ideas of other videos you'd like to see, please also let me know down in the comments. That's going to wrap things up, and I'll see you in the next one.